Here are five lesser-known facts about Lee Harvey Oswald, the man accused of assassinating U.S. President John F. Kennedy. 1. Defected to the Soviet Union In 1959, Oswald defected to the Soviet Union, renouncing his U.S. citizenship and hoping to become a Soviet citizen. He lived in Minsk and worked at an electronics factory, where he was closely monitored by the KGB. However, he grew disillusioned with life in the USSR and returned to the United States in 1962 with his Soviet wife, Marina. 2. Early Interest in Marxism Oswald developed an interest in Marxist and socialist ideologies as a teenager. He read communist literature and considered himself a Marxist. This political inclination set him apart from the majority in Cold War-era America, making him the subject of government scrutiny even before the Kennedy assassination. 3. Was under FBI surveillance before the assassination. Due to his travels to the Soviet Union and connections to leftist groups, Oswald was already on the FBI's radar. He was monitored and questioned several times by U.S. authorities, particularly after his return to America. This history fueled conspiracy theories about his possible connections to intelligence agencies or other organizations. 4. Attempted assassination of a general Before the Kennedy assassination, Oswald reportedly attempted to assassinate U.S. Major General Edwin Walker, a prominent anti-communist figure in April 1963. Although the shot missed, it was later linked to Oswald through ballistics. This incident demonstrated his readiness to act on his political beliefs through violence. 5. Claimed he was a patsy. I, uh, I don't know what this is all about. I killed the president. No, so I didn't. How did you get the black guy? Sir? Did you shoot the president? I work in that building. Were you in the building at the time? Naturally, if I work in that building, yes, sir. Back up, man. Did you shoot the president? No, they're taking me in because of the fact that I lived in the Soviet Union. What time the police I'm just a patsy. president? After his arrest, Oswald maintained his innocence and famously claimed he was a patsy, implying he was framed for the assassination of JFK. He was shot and killed by nightclub owner Jack Ruby just two days after his arrest, sparking numerous conspiracy theories that suggest he may not have acted alone or may have been part of a larger plot. These lesser-known aspects of Oswald's life contribute to the intrigue and ongoing debate surrounding the Kennedy assassination.